The circle animation contact form has a little bit of custom styling. Uh, there's the underline here, there's the purple screen on the background there, uh, this purple over here, and then the social media icon and the little gray diagonal stripe behind. Uh, let's go and take a look, see how we can update these. Uh, there's the images si sizes, they've been indicated to you, trying to stick to those ideally. Uh, then we can change the A, which um, hovers when you click, when you hover on it, that little fly in there. Let's click that away. Let's see if we need to change any colors here under design. There's this light color. Um, so let's go with the light green quickly. Let's copy that and let's do it over here so we're good to go. I'm just going to save and exit. So that's how you update these three modules. You can change the text as well. I'm just going to double click on this one, not that one. This one, I wanted to show you this email code here is a protection short code which prevents the email addresses wrapped in these two tags from being grabbed by spam bots. This is something built into the Mermaid plugin. It comes as part of WordPress, so you don't have to worry about this. It works automatically. All you have to do is wrap your email in those tags. So it's email uh, and then this closing tag exactly like it is there. So you can use that throughout the website. Nice little handy feature that you can get and use. Uh, next, we want to go to this get in touch. We want to go and change a purple color there from what I remember. We can go with that dark green here. Yeah. Let's copy that. Paste that in. And then we can do a quick review. So there we go, we've got that green, we've got this green over here, and then we've got that background we want to change, and this purple underline, and then the social media icons, which we need to do as well. So let's uh, save and go out of here. Let's first go to the social media icons. Let's see if we got anything there under design. Nothing is apparent, uh, but you want to open this Facebook, you might want to change it to Google Plus or something else like that and then you can choose the relevant network here. Then you're going to switch to uh, design. In particular, you want to choose a color here. So I'm not 100% sure what color we're going to change to. I'm just going to go with a bright green. You might not necessarily want to use that. I just want to show you that you can uh, change this around if you want. And then we've got to switch to advanced because we have a background color that we need to update as well. And for that, we are going to use a dark green. I'm just going to do that. And then that's it. So we can save this one. Let's do a quick preview. There we go. That looks somewhat okay. Uh, for the rest of the items, don't worry about this uh, double effect that you have over here. This will work perfectly fine once all the styles update and you save it. So uh, next, what we want to do is go to the master CSS color changer. We need to look for the circle animation contact form, and then we need to update these colors here. So underline contact blurbs color. That's this one over here, that gray underline. So let's use a mint green for that you will need to experiment and get the colors right for yourself we're just going to add them in blurb image background that's going to be a bright green paste that and then the social media circle icon and hover um, i don't recall what colors we used over here but let's try mint green i'll just do the this one there we'll stick with that and then the diagonal line that we're gonna make a dark green there we go let's paste that in there then we're gonna grab this all these rules we're just gonna paste it into the page specific level CSS custom CSS box hit the save button update 
and then we can reload and see what we've got so there you go you can see that's been updated uh, we missed this little button over here we'll do that in a moment obviously you can change the icon colors here and you can see the background has changed let's uh, quickly update that button for that we need to go to the contact form if you want to know how to update the contact form fields themselves i recommend you go to the divi uh, documentation for the contact form modules they explain it best let's go to design here paste the color in there and then we can save hit the update button and then go and do a quick review there we go, updated just the way you want. Thanks for watching.